They call him Mr. Mace Man, a title he's worked out hard for using a medieval weapon to sculpt his muscles. And this Sunday, Rick Brown is sharing the secrets to his special training. Good morning, Rick. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Start off by telling us what a mace is, uh, how you started training for this, and um, you know uh, what this medieval weapon, how it can help us sculpt our bodies. It's somewhat of a misconception in that a mace looks like a weapon, but it is a tool designed to strengthen athletes, in particular wrestlers, uh, but it can strengthen everybody. And it's very good for athletes, and it's also good for seniors. I'm 63 myself, and I love training with the mace. It's super cool to see, um, especially since it's in kind of an unconventional way of doing training. A lot of people, I know you were into bodybuilding early on in your career, Rick. And you know what? Sometimes that can just get a little boring, right? The plates and the and the dumbbells and everything. And this is something that's active and gets the body moving, right? Is, is that what kind of part sparked your interest in this? Yes, I felt that the unconventional nature of the mace and the fact that not everybody can do it, it intrigued me. I wasn't good at it at first, and I wanted to get good at it. I feel a little bit like um, you should have been cast in Braveheart with this thing because uh, I think you would have fit in well there with how strong you are and then your ability to twirl around this mace. <laughs> I actually uh, did some filming and some teaching in Northern Ireland at one of the castles where they filmed um, uh, Game of Thrones. Oh. And um, I've, I've done a lot of traveling with this. Yeah, I see. We're, we're, right now we have the map up of you and where you've been. You've been all over the world for your seminars and for your trains. Uh, enough about discussing this. For those at home that have never seen it, why don't you show us how these maces work and why it's such a great workout? Can you just give us a little uh, example, a little sample of it? Absolutely. Okay, let's take a look. The standard mace that people will buy looks like this. It is basically a, a stick and a stone. This is made of steel, and this is a standard mace that most people will buy, but I can assure you that they come much, much bigger. Some people, like a custom-made bamboo handle, a concrete head, there are also very ornate walnut maces. This is Indian walnut wood. Wow. And then there are some custom metal maces. Uh, I have them painted all different colors, so powder coated. I don't sell maces, but I have all of them. And they come like this hydro mace is water fillable. And they come in some large sizes. Sunday in San Diego and Brandon Joe, I will have all of these and many more, one even seven feet long. And I'm pretty tall when I have to stand on a box to use it. But the movements that people do with the mace, basically, we call it a 360 or a 10 to 2. And this is very strengthening to the shoulders, the back, the trapezius, and the arms and the grip. It can be done with one arm. And there are other movements too. Oh, sure, look at that. Oh, look at that. You can like really twirl it around there. You gotta know what you're doing now. Yeah, that's definitely good for the back. And I can see a tricep workout in there as well. And I can see even a little bit of a leg workout in there, Rick. The mix is very intense on the triceps. Yeah, I mean, you just don't see that kind of workout every day, and it, it, it looks like it's something that would really work all of the muscle groups, right? It will, but again, it's very, very intense on the upper body, the shoulders, the triceps, and the grip. Can I tell you, Rick, as a, as a former hockey player, I, I suffered with shoulder injuries, a lot of rotator cuff injuries, um, and I know that the shoulder injuries are one of the most common injuries for athletes out there. The shoulders are so important and, and an exercise like this builds that muscle, right, to avoid those types of injuries. I'm 63. There goes the base. I'm 63 and I've been able to rebuild my shoulders and make them strong and able to take me through life. And I'm still athletic.
Yeah, we can tell that. We can see your triceps perfectly right there. Um, you're in great shape, Rick. This is a really great way of working out. Remind everyone about Sunday, where they can go to learn more, how they can get involved, and uh, where they can see you doing your thing and, and participate in this. We expect a good crowd at Grinder Gym in San Diego Sunday at 12 noon from 12 to 3. The tickets are available on Eventbrite. Look for Mr. Mace Man, and then I'll direct you to the tickets. And uh, I want to point everyone to your Instagram, Mr. Maceman, at Mr. Maceman, too, um, if they want to learn more about how this all works. And, boy, you, you, you teach young, you teach old, you teach all people, you teach people on the mat, and you teach people in the sand. And that works well for San Diegans, too. <laughs> Yes, I also, I live here in Mission Diego, and I do private certifications here, and of course, in gyms around the world. All right, Mr. Maceman himself. Rick, thanks so much for uh, chatting with us about this really cool way to get that work on and keep our shoulders strong, that's for sure. Thanks, Mr. Maceman. Thank you very much, Eric. It's been a pleasure.